At the end of my first day at the Young Writers Camp, my instructors told everyone about the field trip the next day. Before we left, our instructors showed us a virtualized museum of Eduardo Korea. The next day was the field trip to the National Steinbeck Center. When we walked up to the National Steinbeck Center, I described it as large, historical, full of artifacts, and it was preparing for a big festival. We went right into the room full of Eduardo Carrillo's watercolor and oil paintings. We were introduced to Betsy, the curator of the exhibit of Eduardo Carrillo's work. Eduardo Carrillo was a famous painter who used both oil and watercolor paints to do a lot of self-portraits. Before we started, Betsy explained how to do self-portraits and how to use watercolors. Then we started our self-portraits on our own. My process for my self-portrait was drawing half of my face and my object I was supposed to bring but forgot to bring my teddy bear Jimmy. It was almost time to go when I finished my self-portrait. Before we left, our instructors told us to write about one specific painting that we like. I wrote about Tio Beto, Eduardo Carrillo's stalwart uncle and co-worker. Then we walked back to the library. Our instructors told us to read the stories we wrote in our journals. Something I learned on the field trip was that Tio Beto was known for his humor, kindness, and helpfulness, and he created the studio wall for his beloved Eduardo Carrillo.